In this video, we'll discuss an electric motor and how back EMF plays a major role in the uh, characteristics of the motor. This particular motor has a resistance of the coil, the wires that make up the motor, of 1.5 ohms, and it will be attached to a 120 volt circuit. Uh, when the motor is spinning uh, full speed, the back EMF is 116 volts. Back EMF relates to Lenz's law in that there's going to be something set up to oppose the change that's taking place. It's a, a very general law. You should read about its background if you have more questions on how back EMF is uh, produced. Um, but if the motor is not spinning, the back EMF is zero. But because of the spinning coil and the presence of a magnetic field, the magnetic flux is changing and we get an induced EMF. That induced EMF opposes the applied EMF, so we call it back EMF. First calculation will be what's the current in the motor when it's initially turned on but is not yet turning. There's no spinning action yet, just the instant that it turns on. So to find that uh, value, we have our representation of the 120 volts circuit. The coil of the motor is 1.5 ohms and there's no back EMF. So the current can be found by taking the voltage divided by the resistance, 120 volts, 1.5 ohms, 80 amps. Uh, and I'm ignoring uh, practical uh, considerations of the power supply here, uh, but uh, it comes out to be 80 amps. Even more impressive is what's the power in the motor at this stage. Well, the power can be calculated by squaring the current and multiplying by the resistance, so 80 squared times 1.5, and we find 9,600 watts. Again, this is a hypothetical physics problem, so it's not an actual uh, situation, but it's high. Just understand that when the motor is not spinning, the current is high and the power delivered to the motor is high. Okay, let's let the motor run at full speed. In that situation, our uh, values change for the voltage. We now have 116 volts of back EMF, so the net voltage in the circuit is 120 minus 116. That would be 4 volts, and I divide by 1.5, and I get 2.67 amps for the current. And to calculate the power, again, I squared R, so 2.67 amps squared times 1.5 ohms and a reasonable 10.7 watts. Um, of power delivered to the motor. Um, if you are ever in a situation nearby an electric motor and, and power is uh, continuing to be applied but the motor stops turning, it won't be long till you'll smell the burning insulation on the wires. You should, as soon as uh, you can, unplug that motor uh, because it's going to burn out, possibly cause a fire. But back EMF is well known to electrical engineers, people who design motors, and they uh, build the equipment such that uh, there is a reasonable current and a reasonable power delivered to that motor. Um, so ask your instructor if you have more questions about that. If you'd like to see some other physics and astronomy videos, I have them listed with a title, how many minutes long they are, and a, a little description of what's in the video. And there's a direct link to the YouTube video from each of these. This site is, these sites are free, no registration. Hope you enjoy them, and if you enjoy the YouTube videos, please click subscribe on my YouTube channel.